So what I'm going to show you now is the closing stages of that race. Just to give you a little bit of context, um, we're rowing in a blue and white boat. Uh, the reason we're in a blue and white boat is because we couldn't afford the yellow boat. As you watch this, you'll see that there's some people in front. They're the Italians. The Italians are double Olympic champions. They'd won it in 84, they'd won it in 88. And everyone except us expected them to win it. We're in that third quarter, and the third quarter of anything always hurts. And just at this point, Gary Herbert is coxing the boat, and he's just said the words, if not now, when? If not you, who? And we're looking to make a move. No. Now we must look for the south. There they are. They're going to go for a change of gear. Let's see if they can get back that points to take over from the Romanians in second position. And for anybody who's looking for him, Gary's just about to appear here. <laughs> see his head? What can they do here? They're certainly making the effort and they are certainly closing the gap. They are in the silver medal position and they are pulling back on the Abagnale. 200 metres to go now. Abagnale brothers leave for Italy. Looking to be three times Olympic champions. The Searle brothers looking for a medal in their first ever Olympic final. Their first major final in this event. The Abagnales lead, the Sir brothers are coming back at them all the time and they have such power in the finish, they are coming in from again and they're coming and coming again and the Abagnales are coming <laughs> I love your enthusiasm, thank you. Because this is how you're meant to celebrate when you win. That's not. 